never ceases to amaze me. All this time later, No Time to Die has been wrapped, it's finished, it's on a shelf, and we're still talking about items that we're discovering and finding and a part of James Bond's sartorial kit from this film right here. And of course, right now, as I step back, I am wearing literally the head to toe Norway outfit that you see Bond in many of the pictures. I've known you've seen them. You see him catching a ride from Nomi. Uh, you also see him in the forest of some part of Norway. Is it supposed to be Norway? We'll find out. We also see a lot of behind the scenes shots of Daniel Craig wearing this outfit. But today, we're not really here talking about the whole outfit. We could have, and we have, talked about the Rag and Bone shirt. Heck, we've talked a lot about the Omega watch that he wears. And we've even talked about the shoes, these molten, roughed out suede shoes that we absolutely loved, and they've broken in so well. Listen to me wax poetic. Oh yeah, yeah. We've talked about the Massimo Alba trench coat that he wears as well. And I'll tell you, it's really grown on me over time. But what today we're doing is hearing talking about another piece to the outfit that doesn't get a lot of attention. But maybe, maybe it should. And that is, of course, the pants themselves. Let's take a look right away and discuss these pants. So the pants are the Massimo Alba Mauco or Mauco cotton needle cord trousers that you're going to see in No Time to Die. Some people call them baby cord, but I'm telling you right now, the cord on this is so fine, it is more like a needle. This washed black corduroy trousers, they're worn in quite a few of the Norway scenes, and it's got a flat front, a slim, slim fit, but not skinny. And it's got the welt pockets, a front fastening with the tab, dark horn buttons going up the front fly, concealed zip and belt loops in the waist. So all in all, I would say these pants are fully stocked. Now, when you see Daniel Craig wearing these, he's kind of got his shirt about this level. It's kind of a little rolled up and a little, you know, it's not, it's not uh, flowing down to here, kind of like a dress, and by the way, this is a size small, but we've got to talk about the fit of these first, even before we talk about the hand and some of those other details. Now, I'm wearing right now a size 50, and I'm here to tell you that I've leaned up a little bit in the last few months. I've actually dropped some weight, believe it or not, during a pandemic. That's crazy talk. So um, I am now uh, size 30 to 31. And because of that, the size 50, it's a little loose on me. In fact, if I could show you, um, I'm wearing the belt here, right? To hold my pants from falling down. Uh, there we go. Not the correct belt, but a belt. It's actually a Massimo Alba belt that he wears. That's for a different video altogether, but I could have gone to a 48, and I should have, because actually I take the size 48 in the sloop suit, in both the jacket and the pants. So if I had done the same size, this would have actually been a perfect fit. Now, let's pull back a little bit, because I wanna show you when they say slim, they don't mean ultra fitted. Take a look, it's not baggy, but you can see, for example, that, um, and I have to apologize because I did not get these hemmed by Steve the tailor yet, bad on me. So you may see them caking down um, below a little bit, but please ignore that, uh, they will be hemmed. But you can see the fit on the leg, it's not super tight. And I know a lot of you out there, this is gonna be good news, because you don't like that skinny fit, right? You know, those kind of skinny jean look, that jeggings look that you're like, hey, <laughs> are you forgetting your age, David? Uh, so you tend to stay away from that and get something that's a little bit more of a regular fit. So this is between regular and fitted. Um, I wouldn't go to, and so far as to say it's slim skinny. It's more like slim regular, if you can kind of parse all that. But it feels great. It's so lightweight. When you hear corduroys, the first thing you think about is, oh my gosh, is this gonna like really weigh on me and, and, and it's gonna weigh me down, it's gonna be hot and it's gonna go whoosh, 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 whoosh when I walk. No, come on, 
This is Massimo Alba, folks. <laughs> All right, this feels fantastic and super lightweight. And that's the needle cord. The needle cord makes this very thin and very light. When you pick this up and you open it up out of the package, you can feel the lightness. It's, it moves very well, like the Sloop suit. Okay, okay, but how does it feel? Like, how does it actually feel on? It feels amazing. It almost has, I would say, and this is, hopefully you, you're following my description on this, a velvety type feel because of the baby cord. It has these very, very small ridges that makes it almost feel like a very thin velvet. So it's ridiculously comfortable. And I could see in fall, uh, even moving into winter, and then also uh, spring, light spring, because these are bl black, and I don't typically wear black pants unless it's a certain type of season, but yes, I can see these transitioning absolutely perfectly. All right, so one thing I will note with these pants is they are about $430. Now, it is a fashion luxury brand, and the reason I say that is is because, you know, people out there that are calculating and saying, well, isn't it cotton? Of course it's cotton, but you know, because it's branded, uh, limited supply, etc., it's going to have a higher luxury price on it. So just keep that in mind as far as thinking investment. Um, I could very easily see myself wearing these with a host of different things. I don't think I would wear this outfit out into the wild. I might, but I would probably wear something collared. Um, obviously not black on black. I'm not Roger Moore or Sean Connery. So I would wear maybe a lighter gray shirt up here, or maybe, maybe even something like the uh, Connolly linen shirt that he wears in the movie. Oh, the Connolly linen shirt. What a fantastic idea. Okay, just like that. Hey, it's the Connolly linen and cotton shirt. I love this shirt. Oh my gosh. This is a four season shirt. It was limited edition. Boom. Within, I think, uh, two and a half hours, it sold out. But Connolly made it available to a few people, which was fantastic. And you see Bond wearing it in this shot right here, talking to Madeline. I think we've established that he's in Norway in some place uh, where they're languishing. I don't know if they're languishing, but you know what I mean. They're hanging out. So I can speculate pretty easily that he's wearing these Massimo Alba corduroys with this shirt. And then at some point he puts the Henley, takes this off and puts the Henley over it. Maybe after the chase, maybe after who knows. I mean, but at some point this shirt maybe gets ripped, destroyed. I, I don't know. But he changes into that other one. So I at least wanted to show it with this. Oh my gosh, tucked in, this thing shows the power of the piece. I mean, I've got, uh, here's the silhouette here. We'll show it from the back. And again, not the correct belt. I'm using a black belt here because there's a little bit of cinching right here because the pants are just a wee, you can see that, it's too much shift, a wee bit big. 48 would have been better. I got the 50s, but you know, maybe I'll get them taken in uh, about a half size so I can bake in a little bit for Thanksgiving dinner. Who knows? But damn, these pants look good. And the beige, this kind of straw colored, let me get up nice and close. Hello. This straw colored linen that you see here, just an opportunity to show off the watch, really, um, looks really good with this kind of almost faded black. And so this, this, is an outfit that I would wear out. I would go walking around. I'd go out on a date with Danielle. Uh, I would go to work in this. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> Once I get these things hemmed by Steve the Taylor, they'll be perfect. So I at least wanted to show you in the two potential Bond moments that we're gonna be seeing in this film. So there you go. Just a kind of a short one to show off these pants because we are complete us here. So we'll leave links below of where you can pick these pants up itself. We want to thank again Massimo Alba for being really great to the fans, great to us, and uh, making really comfortable trousers. I know people hate when I say pants, but I am from the United States. Anyway, this has been David Zaretsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be 
up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.